Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and some hazelnut coffee. I've got a video for you. Oh, and Ellie. Hey sweetie, she's still with me for a few more days. I know, girl, go lay down. Um, yes, so we have a video for you today. I'm, I'm gonna make this a multi-part series, but it's how I get ready to decorate my house for Halloween's giving. Halloween's giving. That's my decorating style or my plan. Um, what I do is I decorate for fall. It kind of morphs into Halloween and then back to Thanksgiving. So a lot of my stuff does dual duty. I am not about the life of decorating in September and then changing everything in October and then changing it again in November and then in December. Mm -mm. Nope. So I decorate for Halloween's giving. I know, crazy, huh? Sorry, my shirt's a little bleh. Okay, so I got my handy dandy notebook. This is for all things YouTube related. And I have come up with Halloween's giving, the plan. So this is what I do. What month are we in? July, going on August. I start decorating for fall, middle of August, beginning of September. So I gotta get on it and I wanna do this on a budget. Let me find my, my orange pen in case I have to take notes. So I'm gonna do it on a budget. I don't wanna spend a ton of money, but I also want it to look different and on trend. And so what I do is I'm gonna go over the steps with you of how I get ready. And then I will show you one item that I picked up already at Goodwill, no, Volunteers of America, which is like a Goodwill, and how I'm gonna upcycle it to match my decor and that'll be at the end it's just a spray painting thing but okay so what i did in the last week week and a half i need a haircut guys is i started researching what are the trends the colors gonna be of 2020 and the reason is i'm not necessarily a trendy person but if you know what's on trend you're gonna know what's coming to the stores and that makes it easier. So like, let's say the trend for this fall was lemon yellow. And I picked, you know, apple green as my theme. I may not be able to find apple green in the stores, but I certainly would be able to find tons of yellow. It just saves me a headache. Plus I want things to look fun. So I went through a bunch of websites. I came up with what I saw or thought were the trends of 2020, which seems to be a lot of navy blue, some metallics, the black and white buffalo, which I have done the last two years. So I may change it up a little bit or at least incorporate more. Um, the white and black country, burgundy was a huge one. And um, like the wood, wooden beads, kind of rustic and leopard. Now this is more my style what i'm looking at it what it's obviously not going to fit everybody's but these are the trends that i saw that i liked um and then i put on my list what rooms i typically decorate which for me is the kitchen a little bit in the half bath my dining room living room my front porch and then the entry hall so i laid out the rooms that i want to decorate now Again, with my research, what I did is I went on Pinterest. I watched videos, like a lot of YouTubers, other like decorating and decor YouTubers. And then I did a lot of online shopping and some in store, but not a whole ton because, you know, the plague. So I went online and I looked at Hobby Lobby, Joanne, at home, home goods, Kirkland's, um, things like that anthropology different stores just to kind of get some ideas of what's going on what they're selling now there's not a lot out there just yet but there are some things that I was able to take a look at and see then I create my vision I don't do a vision board it's basically I make a Pinterest board that's mine says fall winter 2020 so I'll probably put some Christmas stuff in when I get ready to start researching Christmas um, my notebook, which I keep all of my notes in, and then some screenshots. If I find 
some products that I really would like to either go purchase or try to recreate that aren't on Pinterest, but I maybe found the picture on a website, I take screenshots, so I have that idea. Is it all gonna be created? No, I just kinda collect everything to this vision of what I want it to look like. Like my Pinterest board, anything that caught my eye went, out, went in this Pinterest board. And then what I'll do is go through my Pinterest board and kinda see, you know, what I'm doing this, cause that's what I do. And see what, you know, what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. But for right now, for this step, which is step two in my process, I just went through and collected ideas. What catches my eye? What do I think will work with my current furniture? What if I buy new furniture? I don't know, you know? But what will work with my current house and my current taste? And you know, maybe something pops out at me that's totally different. But right now, at this point, I haven't spent a dime. So it's just window, window shopping. So I do that. Now I'm coming up with the plan. And I'm on step three right now, which is the plan. So I need to choose a direction that I want to go. I need to choose a color scheme for soft lines, hard lines, like soft lines being blankets, pillows, and then more of the hard liney stuff would be decor and accent pieces and things of that nature. So I have that, I think. I've come up with a tentative plan. Now I need to organize. This is the step I think I'll do this weekend and I will bring you along. This So the next video, and I'm gonna mark this here. So we're working on video one. This is gonna be video two. We'll start at this point, the organizing. So what I need to do is go in my garage. I have uh, totes, Rubbermaid totes for all of Halloween's giving, for real. I have Halloween, I have um, fall, and I have Thanksgiving stuff. And then I have a tote that just has like table decorations and things of that nature. So I need to pull all the totes in. And I don't typically do this and I need to. And I wanna go through all the totes. I wanna purge the stuff that I'm definitely not gonna use. I wanna put all of Halloween with just Halloween. I wanna put fall and Thanksgiving together. Some things that change between Halloween and Thanksgiving would be more of the signs the grateful thankful blessed if i bring out some turkeys in fall like in september it's going to all be about the apples and the pumpkins and just the warm colors bringing them in and as i and i just build on it so for halloween i have some pumpkins that i turn around on a on a shelf and it's just um, orange and white pumpkins but when i turn them around they're jack-o-lanterns and so that's how i kind of make it halloween and then when it's time for Thanksgiving, I want all the Thanksgiving stuff together and I'll pull that out and maybe take some things down. But I need to get dedicated totes, which I'm gonna do this year. So I will bring you along for that. And then once I've done that and I've purged and I've decided what I'm gonna keep and not, it doesn't, if I keep it, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna use it just this year, but I wanna, you know, these are things I wanna keep. And then I'm gonna say, okay, well, what is my color scheme? And what in here, because that's the next thing, is the list. So what is my color scheme going to be? What colors do I want to utilize in my living room, in my dining room, in my kitchen? This all sounds very intense, but trust me, it's not. I've already got an idea of the one of the colors I definitely want to bring in is copper. I really am liking that metallic, metal, warm copper color. So that's definitely coming in. But so I need to make a list of any craft projects that I think I want to do for this channel and for my house. And then are there anything I want to upcycle? What do I need to purchase? Do, are there things I don't have that I would like to have? And like a wish list. You know, I would love to have a new burnt orange um, throw blanket for the back of my sofa. And I don't have one. So maybe that's something that goes on my list. Um, and what things do I think I could create? from the thrift store or upcycling things I already have and just changing the color, the shape, the design to make it fit or repurpose it in my house. So still, I haven't spent any money yet, which is good because, well, I've made my list for spending money. But And at that point, I would come up with a budget. How much am I wanting to spend on these items? What is my top of the line price I'm willing to pay? you know, kind of a thing. Try to make an, an idea there when I'm doing my shopping list. 
And then the first place I go is like thrift stores. I'm kind of weird about certain things from thrift stores, but I think I would be okay with a blanket because I could wash it. I get nervous about like soft line stuff like couches and chairs because I, I don't, you can't wash them. And what if somebody had been, hi Ellie, I know. Who's I talking to? She's so confused. All right, all right, go lay down. Okay, so that's where we're up to then would be, okay, go lay down is making the lists of ideas that we have, what colors do we wanna go with, and what would we like to see where in my house. Now, I know I have a lot of um, floral, like dry floral stuff that I can use for upcycling. My big things in my house that I like to decorate is my mantle, my coffee table, the top of my pantry and my kitchen, and then some type of a de decoration in my on my kitchen table. Now, what I'm gonna show you at the end here is uh, what I already purchased at the thrift store. We're gonna up, upcycle it to make it match the decor colors that I want. And actually, the tablecloth for my dining room table came from Volunteers of America and this tray that I bought. So, $8, and I have my kitchen table base done and I have so many things to fill this tray with in my bat in my bins which is why I'm doing bins before I go shopping and you know here's the thing with this whole coronavirus and COVID it's kind of making me be more um accountable to what I'm spending less um, impulsive because I'm not going to go out to all these stores and go shopping today Ohio just put a mandate for the state everybody has to wear masks it's getting real I don't you know I want to be more um, there's a word for it and I can't remember what it is but I just want to I don't want to just buy 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 and hope I find a place for it intentional that's the word I want to be more intentional with what I purchase so this is kind of this coronavirus is making me do that, which I'm kind of thankful for. Like that's my, my silver lining to COVID-19 is it's making me more intentional with my purchases. It's making me slow down, go through the things that I have, evaluate the things that I have. If it's not something I'm going to utilize, pass it on to somebody else and then have a comprehensive list of what I need. Like I know I need to get to Ikea. They sell um, the 20 by 20, I'm gonna make a shape, <laughs> 20 by 20 pillow covers. And they have them in like a canvas and they're $3.99 a piece. If you've seen any of my videos, the gold ones that are on my sofa, those, those are it, they're $3.99 a piece and the cream ones as well. So I wanna get a burnt orange. So I guess I just threw it out there. The colors I'm choosing are copper and wood tones with like burnt orange and a deep green. So very, very warm fall colors but I really want to incorporate some copper into it um, and metallics like right now my living room is creams and golds so I'm going to change that up so what I would like to have is cream and burnt orange or burnt orange pillows on my sofa and I bet Ikea I can find a little throw they have really cheapy throws it doesn't need to be a blanket for warmth it's strictly for decoration but those are things that will go on my list and then I know, you know, I can look them up online, get my pricing, see if that's something I'm wanting to spend. But again, I'm trying to do house decor on a budget that makes me happy and makes my wallet happy. Oh, and I ordered, so I'm going to do um, another couple videos this fall or probably in August, beginning of September of... Uh, nailed it or failed it the Pinterest board challenge. I don't know. I just made it up But last year I did one two nailed it or failed it's from Pinterest and we're gonna do it again I found a sign that I wanted for my mantle that I thought would be beautiful and it was $130 on Etsy No We can make it for cheap So I've ordered some one piece of supply that I'm needing because that's all it needs is one piece of supply. Now it's not for the Dollar Tree and everything I make is not gonna be Dollar Tree related, but it's gonna be budget friendly stuff that we can make together if you want. I'm on board with that. So if you wanna come along with me on this journey, I'll go over my steps with you again, write them down and we will all do this together. So we have your research, Pinterest, YouTube videos, online shopping, 
watch Pinterest video or uh, YouTube videos of online shopping. I saw some Kirkland's, Home Goods, Walmart, even, and just get ideas. What things do you see that um, you would like, or that you think would be fun in your house, or that you already have and would never think to put it out for Halloween or Thanksgiving or whatever? Um, you want to create a vision board of some some type. I Pinterest is just easy for me. So on my phone, I just go in and I build this board on Pinterest um, with, and I also use my notebook and pictures. Um, your plan, what's your direction? Once you come up with your vision, then you need a plan. What color scheme are you gonna go with? How is it gonna work? Do you wanna move your furniture around? What are you gonna decorate? What pieces of furniture are needed? Do you want your mantle, your front window? Things like that. And then you need to get organized. And this is kind of the fun part for me, is pulling out my totes and going through all of my fall, Halloween, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving. Followween's giving. I'm coining this phrase. I'm sure somebody already has, but I'm claiming it. So I have to get all my totes out. And like I said, the next video, we will do that. We will pull out all the totes and we will go through what I have. I know I have a million ceramic pumpkins of all different shapes and sizes. They're gonna get used. They may get spray painted or not. I don't know. We'll see what we come up with. Um, and a list. Anything, and put down below if you would like me to DIY something. If you find a picture of, on Pinterest or somewhere and you think we could DIY it for cheaper, send it to me. I'll give it a shot. It could be on my nailed it or failed it. It could be a failed it, but we'll see. Um, Check your local thrift stores or your Facebook marketplace is another another great resource so you're not in the stores because a lot of folks are doing like porch pickup and things like that. Ask your family if you're looking for something in particular. But that's it for right now. That's where we're at. We're up to step five, making the list and checking it twice of all of our ideas. Hi, sweet girl. And then at the end of this video, I'll bring you outside if it doesn't rain. It's kind of questionable. Looks like it might rain, but I want to spray paint um, the metal tray. If it's not at the end of this video, that means it started to rain and I will save it for another video or maybe I'll put it in the weekend vlog because it's getting ready to storm. So sorry, it won't be on this. Okay, do you have to go potty? All right, guys. Well, I hope this gets you off to a good start and you're going to join me along on this journey. So this is video one in a, I don't know how many part series. We're going to say multi-part series of snapping my house together for Halloween's giving. All right, guys, you have a good one and I will talk with you later.